Good morning, I'm Jessica Larkin, and if you're like me, then you're trying to squeeze the last little bit out of summer that you possibly can. And this morning, I'm gonna show you an activity that gets you out on the water, but not actually in the water. I'm talking about stand-up paddle boarding. Paddle boarding is just a, a great outdoor activity. Um, it came about around here in the Tri-Cities about two years ago when we opened up the shop. Uh, what it is is just a lake activity or a river activity where you take your average surfboard, but it's a lot longer surfboard called a stand-up paddle board, and you're standing up on it paddling. Um, it's an activity that anyone can do. It's as easy as, some people say it's easier, easier than riding a bicycle. Um, you're taking a long paddle and you're standing on it in uh, just a regular stance paddling along the lake. So the first thing, and the first time you're on a board, uh, one of the really important things to know is, is where to stand on the board. Um, and with the board behind me, there's a handle in the middle right here. When you're getting ready to get on the board, that's a reference point of where you want to be. So you want to start out with your knees um, facing forward on the, going to the front of the board and the handles in between your legs or in between your knees. When you go to stand up, that's a reference to where to have your feet. So your feet want to be parallel in a shoulder athletic position stance um, over top of this handle. So you're using your paddle with a vertical shaft, which means the paddle straight up and down beside the board. And you're coming from the front of the board back to your thigh when you're on your knees when you're starting out. But when you're standing up, you're starting to the front of the board and you're coming back to your foot. Once you get up, uh, the key is to start paddling and have that momentum. And once you have that momentum, it's just, you know, you're enjoying the sport from there.